Well, you guys uh, have quite a few uh, CMW shows lined up for this week. Absolutely, yeah, it's pretty busy. Is there uh, any show in particular that you're looking forward to? Um, honestly, I think like each of them are going to be neat in their own way because the, the Wednesday ones are a bunch of bands we know from London. Um, so that's like a really friendly affair. And then, um, yeah, Friday, um, a couple of really good Toronto bands too. Uh, one of which like we had the, uh, just, um, met by chance at a so far session recently too. So, and I think the Dakota show is going to be good as well. Yeah. They're each just like kind of different things. Yeah, so are you uh, staying in Toronto for the entire week then, and not bothering going back to London? Yeah, I'm going to be around for sure because there's all the going to do the conference stuff uh, on Thursday and Friday as well. Cool. Now, in a band, how does the uh, conferences uh, help you out info wise, and even are you able to apply anything you learn towards the band? I should think so. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how they are this year, but generally. You know, it's it can be difficult to find mentorship like that, especially in uh, in London. It's not as busy, right, industry wise. So it's kind of nice to rub shoulders with some of those people and and yeah, share some kind of strategies and ideas and that kind of thing. Yeah, nice. Now, uh, what's in store for your shows, especially the uh, showcase shows? And well, I'm going to be seeing you on May 9th. What should I be uh, looking okay, forward sure. to? Um, a lot, a lot of new music. We're pr- pretty much, um, we're almost playing, uh, just everything off the new record actually. Cause it's really, um, like a beat kind of dancey and, and really fun to play live. So, um, yeah, it's just a lot of new music. Now that album's not uh, released yet, is it? No, not quite. Okay. Not till June 9th actually. Oh, so pretty much they're almost a year apart then between your last release marry me then yeah almost like a couple days actually the, the difference yeah oh, nice um now do you have feel that releasing it after cmw's might have a bit of ill effect compared to if you would have been able to release it beforehand um i don't know to be honest uh it's always like a, a bit of a game right because there's so much media revolving around cmw to begin with so i you wonder whether you'd be overshadowed by that so um yeah it's a tough call i kind of just like consulted with a couple of people and this way it just gave us uh, an opportunity to give some people a first listen of it um before it was released as well so yeah different strategies i guess eh? yeah yeah you never know what you can really do as long as uh hopefully people i uh, dig it yeah, for sure. I mean, and that's what we've been finding. Just people really catch on to the the new music live. And, you know, we've been selling a couple of CDs on the side. Um, but, uh, yeah, just the response to the live show has been really, really optimistic. So I'm um, looking forward to it being out in full as well. Nice. Now, uh, is the album, well, obviously the album's probably already recorded. And uh, yep. do you wish you could go back now after hearing the praise from the album from what people have heard so far do you wish you could go back and change a little bit or are you happy the way it sounds on uh recorded um i think it sounds really good like dan broadbeck who he mixed and co-produced with me on it and he did a fantastic job and i i don't know i always find it really interesting to like i was really hands off about the mixing aspect of it even though um that's something typically that i like to be pretty involved in just because I like to get someone else's kind of uh, subjective take at what the music should sound like, you know what I mean? Um, just because, you know, I'm like primarily a guitarist and maybe not as confident in putting my voice forward as someone else would be. So I, I like the way that it sounds. There, it's You can always, you know, change and rearrange bits though. So I think recently too i've just been trying to just let things be kind of thing and, and move on to the next song nice uh, do you already have a single picked out for the album yeah yeah we've um i won't is the is the first single okay oh yeah the one with the uh, video the uh, pretty much yeah. the uh, dance video with it yep yeah well what was the idea behind the uh, video 
Uh, behind the video, oh, we would just like we like to have fun with them. So uh, we just had a bunch of friends out actually, and in, uh, in there dancing and stuff, and um, yeah, just generally trying to make it a, a fun kind of atmosphere. Nice. Uh, now, do you already have an album title picked out for the? Uh... Yep, it's called Morning Light. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, now, do you have any other uh, videos in store? As the, uh, album yeah, the actually. Um, third week of May, we're going to be doing another stop motion video uh, for a song called War Paint. Um, and that's probably going to get released with the uh, with the album when it, it'll it uh, go out for stream a couple weeks before it's released. So it'll probably be coming out at the same time. Yeah, nice. Um, now, even with the, uh, like, you got one show at 3 a.m., how brutal is yep. that, especially being in a band and then having to stay up that late? I always wondered that because that'd kill me. I'd be done. Yeah, it depends. Like it honestly, it totally depends on the show itself, right? Like if it's if it's a good show, and for me, I'm like uh, by nature a pretty introverted person. But when the energy's there and you have a really good show, I. I just end up like staying up late is not an issue. You know, we drive home from Toronto all the time from shows. Mm. We hardly ever stay over, and we're like used to getting home at four a.m. or four thirty, right? So, um, yeah, it's kind of it actually is easy if it's a good show. Yeah, I, th I think I just come out of that as as an age thing now. I know about six years ago I could do it no problem, but now, ooh, after one o'clock I'm hurting pretty bad. Oh yeah, it definitely it takes its 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 toll over time. That's for sure. Uh, now, uh, where can uh, people find your music and you guys online? Um, we are pretty much everywhere. I mean, YouTube's a uh, big press because we have a, a lot of video um, content there. But our, our website, everyhours dot com, and uh, yeah, we're on SoundCloud as well. Okay, cool. Well, uh, thanks for your time, man. Much appreciated. Yeah. Yeah, no. thanks for the chat. And uh, you said you're coming out to the Dakota? Yeah, that'll be the one I can uh, hit there on the Saturday. Cool. Right on. Well, I'll look forward to meeting you. Yeah, you too. Alrighty, have a good one. You too. Bye.